hey guys, Mama Dean here. So today is kind of a pretty exciting day for us here on the homestead. We have a fellow YouTuber that reached out to us and wanted to come down and see what we're all about. Uh, kind of check out the homestead, kind of see what we're doing and everything. So we have a few things planned for him. Now, uh, the bummer part is, is that Dustin was not able to get the time off from work to uh, to be here for this today. So she gets to hang out with me and the kids uh, and everything. So uh, looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be a fun day. So we have a very special guest with us today. I'd like to introduce you to Kathleen, AKA Mama Grows. <laughs> yeah, Mama Gina, Mama Grows, get to meet. <laughs> So excited to have you here today. Yeah, thank you so much for coming and, oh. and letting or coming and finding us in town. In oh yeah, house, and letting us come see your wonderful <laughs> property. So excited to have you here today. So we kind of have like a kind of a fun day planned today. We're gonna look at the rabbits. We're gonna uh, go show where our garden's gonna be at, and then we're both gonna suit up and we're gonna tear into a beehive and feed them and hopefully take out a frame and see if there's laying any eggs and that'd be so fun to see life just <laughs> life just life so right now we're just here in the rabbit pen showing her the rabbits and everything and she's so impressed with the size of the rabbits and how good they look and just the open warrant system and just <laughs> they're big rabbits <laughs> they're so big but Ma it makes me think, am I am I doing the wrong rabbit? Do I need one of every rabbit breed? Because I have the Rex. Okay. So, yeah. For the for the fur. But mm -hmm. these guys are really soft too. Yeah, and you know, I have been so impressed with their temperament. They are uh, they're so gentle. And it's like once you kinda like if you sit in the rabbit pen for a little bit, they'll actually come up to you and you can pet them and oh. everything. And they are just what's kind of funny is that when I come out to feed and water them, I talk to them. Uh -huh. I mean, I don't know. I think it's just like so they get used to your voice and everything yeah. so they know who you are. But I've been impressed with the silver fox rabbits, just their um their the color of their fur and just how fast they grow and just their babies are so cute. <laughs> They're just this little black ball of fur. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So you said you saw one little baby out? I'm sure I thought I saw one little baby kind of poke its head out, but I wasn't quite too sure. So with this open warrant system though, you can't really like get in and check things. And I wish I could. You just kind of have to wait and see, but um, we might strap our GoPro to something and take it down under. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so I had a, I had a, a doe she she made a den mm -hmm. and had like nine babies but yeah. one of them died and yeah. she never got rid of it mm -hmm. so it was just down in there putrefying yeah any clue if that could be happening you know have they ever brought up a dead one you know not that i've seen i do is just like bury it and mm -hmm. it'll just like decompose back into the ground yeah so that way it's like they like they take care of like their own system it kind of makes sense because if yeah. they had dead babies around their colony mm -hmm. then that would attract predators, predators. yeah Rabbits are very smart. That is smart. Okay, so we're here in the garden spot, and I was just showing uh, Kathleen that we have a board back there. Trust me, it's there. Over there, and then the mysterious branch. No idea where it came from. So that whole area right here. We're so excited to do a garden this year on the homestead and everything. And so I was just telling her that she was asking me, uh, are we going to till up the ground? And I says, no, I says, we, that's what we're struggling with. We don't want to till up the ground. We don't want to ruin those organisms in the ground to, um, so we want to keep all that. And where the cows have been through here, fertilizing everything really good. So we're, that's another thing we're going to do. I think it's going to work out great. Yeah. I can't wait to see how it comes up I know. together. You have to come back down. I yeah, will. Absolutely. <laughs> Come down and help us. <laughs> That'll be so fun. I love doing things like oh, that. Oh, I would love it. Yeah. Here. So why I took uh, Kathleen's boys out to go hunting and oh my head. You ran into the fence twice, Sarge got it, and it was still alive, like barely nipped it. Uh-huh. But honestly, I just had to take care of it. Well, what are you going to do with it now? Got it and sell it. Welcome to the country. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is what we do. <laughs> I'm from the city and I love that. <laughs> She's from the city and we're from the country. <laughs> Kyle, what do you think of that? I love it. What do you think? Who shot it? 
Uh, no one? Him. Oh, him? Yeah. Did the dog catch it first? Well, kind of. Like, the dog w was chasing it. It ran into a fence and he shot it. Wow. That's so cool. That's <laughs> so cool. <laughs> So something else that we get to do today is we're heating up some sugar water and we are actually going to suit up and tear into a hive and feed the bees. That'll be fun. Thank you for letting me oh, help with that. Absolutely. This will be so exciting. All right. So we are in our bee suits. Fabulous. <laughs> we're going to go feed the bees. Ah, this is exciting. Okay. Let's turn into the hive. We're not working with a smoker, I no. just realized. Yeah, we don't have a smoker. And kind of the nice part is, is where it's kind of overcast, it's kind of cool. Uh, they don't feel as ornery or yeah. anything. Where's their flight path? Was I standing right in front of their flight path? Yeah, okay. so they're flying, they're flying out that way. Okay. So, yeah, I do it all the time. Oh, okay. But yeah, so they look amazing. So what did you think of that? That was so cool. Wasn't that awesome? That was. That was cool. You got to see cool. like the. It's high. so healthy. Yeah. There's so many bees in there. Yeah. Okay. So learning that they a bee only lasts for three days, mm -hmm. and what else did I learn? There was something else. You got to really cool. see the dark honey. And the, the dark new honey, honey and the new honey. And you got to see an egg. An uh, egg. An egg. Yeah. That's getting ready to get kept over. Yeah. And uh, they're ready to be born in about 21 days. Yeah, there was something else that really fascinated me too, and I can't even remember. I was just, it was too much to take it all in. <laughs> so, yeah. So yeah, so that was a pretty cool experience. I'm glad I got to share that with you and <gasps> thank you and everything. That's not something you get to do every day. No, it's really not. I mean, for most people, it's just like, yeah, it's just like a daily occurrence, but I think for you, it's just like something Oh, how new. often you get into the hive. So in the, how often we get into the hive is we try to get in it in to at least a couple of, uh, two days, or just like as often as you can because the more you get into your hive the more you can see is there something wrong is there something that you have to do are they doing okay do you need to add something you know do you need to clean um, some frames like I seen that we need there's frames that we have to clean that we'll have to do uh, on a much warmer day when less bees are in the hive because if you get into your hive on a really warm day the less bees are in there and um, the less ornery they get yeah. so and it's just like it's, there's so much that you can learn from bees and so much they can teach you and you can learn and it's just such an awesome thing I think is so important to have on your homestead is mm -hmm. is your bees because they not only pollinate your garden but they pollinate flowers they bring in so much stuff that's so beneficial and then for your allergies it helps with your allergies because all that pollen that they bring in it helps you with whatever is bothering you right right when those cottonwoods yep 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 getting flurry yep so, so that's cool. Awesome. I have had an absolute blast. I feel like we have, we're not only YouTubers, but I just, I feel like that we've got a friendship now going on. I do, on. I do. I, I've always enjoyed your conversation yeah. on the live shows. Yeah. Yeah, so it's so nice to meet. And it just feels like just walking around with you, it's just like, I feel like I've just known you forever. And I, just, I love that. So thank you so much for coming. Thank you for letting us come visit. Yeah. That's a big thing to ask. So here's some honey. So that is from our high from last year. So it is crystallized right now, but if you put it in hot water, it'll go back to liquid form. So this is a little gift from us. Thank you to so you much. To thank you for coming. And I know and how valuable that is. Oh, absolutely. That's so cool. Thank yeah. you. So I, guys, it was such a blast. So hey guys, go check out Mama Grows. Give her some love. Send her some support from us to her. So I will leave her channel link in the description. So please go check her out. It has been an absolute blast hanging out with you and thank you oh thank I just, you i loved it every minute of it good good so, good, good. so glad thank you thank you <laughs> go check her out guys we'll see you in the next one